Hey there, Libra. Good afternoon and welcome to your July tarot reading. Welcome to Tree of Life Tarot. My name is Carrie. I'm excited to connect with my Libra and soul family members today. Libra, we just want to look at your July and let's just see what the energies look like moving ahead for you. Today is Monday, June the 21st. Time on my end is about 425 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. So whether your sun sign is Libra or your moon or rising sign is Libra, Libra, some of you may be here checking up on a Libra in your life. I think we call those cross watchers. Uh, others of you may just be intuitively guided to be here. It's like, Gary, I don't even know if I have Libra anywhere in my natal chart, but there was a feeling that said, click on this tarot reading. Trust those energies, Libra. I'm excited to have you here. If you're new to the channel, welcome. I hope you enjoy my energy, my style of reading, and the energies that come out. And if you're a returning subscriber, because I know we have a lot of Libra and soul family members out there. Welcome back. So Libra, I'm going to provide you your astrological forecast to get started. So we're going to look at the month of July. We're going to see which planets are moving into which specific houses impacting Libra's energy. I'm going to go through the month of July and highlight these transits. I'll do the best job that I can to describe these energies to you. Just keep in mind, Libra, I'm not an astrologer. I'm a tarot reader but I'm fascinated with astrology. I, I think tarot and astrology go hand in hand together. So I'm taking a lot of what I've learned from the professionals and sharing it with all of you. But I feel like it's great information because it gives you a big picture look, a snapshot, an energetic snapshot, if you will, of what the energies look like that you're moving into next month in the month of July. We all know that there are better times to do some things and less favorable times to do other things. So be mindful of these energies as we're going through your astrological forecast. It applies for your sun, moon, or rising sign. But I need to emphasize that there is an emphasis with your rising sign energies. So, for example, my sun sign is Aquarius. My moon and rising signs are Taurus. So for me, I like to go to the Taurus, the rising sign energy astrological horoscope, and I read that as it pertains to me. And then I go to my sun sign for the Aquarius tarot reading. All right, Libra, let's get started. Uh, let's get into the month of July for you. So big event taking place in the month of July in terms of a big event for the planets. And the big event that's taking place is the planet Jupiter which is the planet of expansion, wisdom, growth, abundance, and good fortune, it, grows, it goes retrograde towards the end of this month. And it's going to stay in retrograde throughout most of the rest of this year. So, Libra, on the 10th, you have a new moon happening in your 10th house of work and career. And then on the 12th, you have the planet Mercury joining the party, moving into your 10th house. So you have this energy being focused on your work and your career at the, in the first week of July. So for many, this will be an opportunity to take your career into a new direction. It's like, just think about it. If you're Libra and it's like, I've been very dissatisfied with my job, my career and what I do. I've been feeling these energies of dissatisf being di feeling dissatisfied for quite some time. You're feeling those energies for a reason. So be thinking about like, what things do you love to do? You know, what are you passionate about? I mean, a, there's a great quote by Mark Twain, always stuck with me. He said, the secret of success is to make your vocation your vacation. And that just rang true to me when I heard it because look, we always do well when we're investing our energies in the things that just don't feel like work for us at all because we're doing what it is we love to do. You got an emphasis for you in the month of July, Libra. Some of you may be sorting these energies out. Okay, let's continue. On the 22nd of July, you have the planet Venus and Mars moving into your 12th house of the subconscious. So this is a great time, Libra, to study subjects in the metaphysical field, right? So now we're talking about the 12th house is has everything to do with the unseen world. So by metaphysical subjects, I'm talking about things like astrology, tarot, numerology, crystals, healing, maybe meditation, maybe yoga, maybe studying the different healing modalities that are out there. Um, this is a great time to take time for yourself as well. So 12th house energy is like, I don't want to be around a lot of people right now. I need to take some me time. So maybe you want to just escape 
go up to the mountains. Maybe you want to take your hammock with you and just go up and set up your hammock and spend an evening to yourself just taking in some beautiful energies. Okay, Libra, on the... So, again, on the 22nd, you have Venus and Mars moving into your 12th house of the subconscious. So some of you will naturally be drawn to the metaphysical at this time, taking some alone time. On the 23rd, the sun moves right back into your 11th house. Uh, 11th house is about your extended community and your hopes and dreams. So the sun shines a light on all of your hopes and dreams. So this is a time to think about Libra. Like, what is it that I want to feel? And what is it that I want to experience in life? What is it that I'm passionate about, right? And investing your energies in those directions. On the 24th, you have a full moon happening in your fifth house. So new moon at the beginning of the month, full moon births. You have a fifth house birth here, right? So you're birthing some creative energies. A lot of you may be connecting yourselves with some beautiful creative ideas. These could be business ideas. So this is a great time in these energies. If you have a great idea to put together a business and launch it. Uh, this is also a great time for many of you to fall in love or to fall deeper in love, to make new connections, new friendships. It's a beautiful time to spend time with our children as well, as well as grandchildren. On the 28th, you have the planet Mercury moving into your 11th house. These energies will encourage you to reach out and reconnect with some of your extended community family members. So maybe reaching out and connecting with people that you haven't spoke to for quite some time. Or look, it's just energy. So you may find these people reaching out wanting to reconnect with you as well. It goes both ways. Um, on the 29th, you have Jupiter going retrograde and it moves right into your fifth house. It's all about having fun, right? Beautiful creative energies, creative ideas, bonding with kids, grandchildren, going out, go out and do something that you just love to do, right? And it's, look, you may have to think back to what is it that I love to do when I was a kid, right? Fifth house energy is a younger childlike energy. So it's all about having some fun, Libra. And I know you guys are great at having fun. Okay, on the 30th, you have the planet Mars and Venus moving into your 12th house again. Moving into your 12th house because we're coming up, we're just months away from your birthday time, right? And that's when we go into first house energy. So these energies encourage you to invest energies into the unseen world. Again, that metaphysical world. So the month of July, for many of you, it's a perfect time to take some, a time of solitude, a time for you to just invest in yourself. All right, Libra, beautiful. There's your astrological forecast for the month of July. I love Libra energy. Um, you know, in the world of zodiacs, Libra, you would, you guys would be considered the poets, the romantics, as well as the diplomats. So maybe there's some of those, some of you Libras out there that could be a diplomat in some way, shape, or form. But diplomacy, you know, your ability to communicate. Libra, you're great at communicating, right? And I understand this energy, right? A lot of times Libra can be a very pleasing kind of energy where we just want to show up and we want to please people. I get those energies. So that's one of the skills that makes you so diplomatic at what you do. All right, Libra, I'm going to take a sip of water here and then let's get started with your tarot reading. So Libra, your astrological forecast, it gives us a big picture snapshot and look energetically at what's taking place for you. Now we're going to hone in. We're going to do, do a tarot reading. And it's going to give us the opportunity to see how many of these energies manifest much more specifically for you in the month of July. It gets pretty good. So Libra, I'm pulling an affirmation card for you to take us into your tarot reading today. I have this deck on a loner right here. Beautiful deck. It's called The Universe Has Your Back. Amazing affirmation cards. So Libra, the affirmation that's coming in for you comes to us as, I recognize, recognize that I have chosen fear and I choose again. I choose love. Okay, so beautiful energy. I recognize that I have chosen fear and I choose again. Only this time I choose love. I recognize that I have chosen fear now I choose again, and this time I choose love. So, 
beautiful energy taking us into your tarot reading today. I'm kind of curious to see how this energy is incorporated into your tarot reading. Some of you may have made a choice in the past, right? And the motivation behind making that choice could have been out of fear, right? It's like, what, what would the consequences be if I didn't make a choice right here? So some of you, and in fact, this is interesting because with Jupiter going retrograde, right, we're all being encouraged to look back at maybe choices, decisions we made in the last few months and to step back and to reassess and reevaluate those decisions, maybe to reinvent those decisions in some way. So I feel like maybe this is very divine. This affirmation would come in for you, Libra. All right. So for your tarot spread today, I'm doing the Celtic Cross tarot spread. I'm going to pull two energies. First energy that I'm pulling is going to come through as present energy for some of you. Maybe your present energy right now. For others, this will represent the energy of the matter at hand for you. So taking us into your tarot reading, we have positive movement forward. So this is equivalent to the Eight of Pentacles energy. This is about channeling my focus, right? I'm putting my focus in the areas where I'm wanting to make some positive movements forward. Could be positive movement forwards regarding love, relationships, connections in your life. <clears throat> it may be positive movement forward regarding a job, work, career. Let's continue to pull some energies and find out more what's going on. This next energy that we're pulling for you, Libra, is going to come through as the challenging energy for you in the month of July. I mean, I really, I really like this energy. Just looking at the card right here. You see the boat in the water, right? Notice the cell on the boat. It's in full sail right now, right? So wind has picked up, the water is calm, right? Take in these, these are like little little reminders to you of, of what it is you may be feeling and experiencing at this time. Or you may be feeling like things are very calm right now. I can feel the warmth of the sun on me. You know, the sun shining out there says maybe I've let go of the fears, the worries, and the concerns. And I'm ready, getting ready to take flight right here. Got the wind in your sails. Okay, challenging energy coming in for Libra. Emotional loss. So this is equivalent to the Five of Cups energy. Um, notice the figure on the card. He has his hands on his heart, right? So he's holding his heart, talking about matters of the heart right here. And it's coming in as a challenging energy. So some of you may have went through something recently where it impacted your heart, right? You may have got your heart broken just a little bit. Let's, uh, let's pull some clarifying energies on these energies and find out a little bit more. I'm going to change decks and switch to my Crystal Vision tarot set. And let's begin by clarifying positive movement forward. Tell us about positive movement forward, please. Sagittarius wanted to come out. Divine timing. Please clarify temperance for Libra, please. So, I, like I said, I love the Libra energy. I have a really good friend who's a Libra and also my youngest child, Grace. She's a Libra as well. So, I really dig Libra's energy. Tell us about temperance for Libra, please. Okay. Wanted to come out. It flew out of the deck. You have the Six of Cups coming in attached to Temperance. So Six of Cups, it's a beautiful energy. You know, could represent the energy of somebody from your past coming back to you. I feel like that'll be the case for some of you. You know, for others, this may be about taking you and your energies back to an earlier time in your life before a lot of fear and a lot of anxiety sat in. Uh, going back to maybe the good old days and it's connected to divine timing right here. For others of you, you're maybe in this energy where maybe you're working yourself through this energy of this emotional loss and you feel like, yeah, the wind just came in, right? And I have some wind in my cells right now and I'm feeling like making a move right here. Um, attached to temperance, 
the universe letting you know timing right now divine timing for you perfect balance of emotions combined with the actions that you take you're the one who decides when divine timing is for you but you have the energy of divine timing attached to the six of cups some of you may have somebody from your past coming back could be somebody that is also connected to this energy of emotional loss let's find out tell us more about emotional loss for libra please two of cups wanted to come out so two of cups energy attached to emotional loss we're talking about a breakup here attached to the two of cups knight of pentacles your destined night showing up right here the slowest moving of the night energies but it's the most reliable night so you have this energy of emotional loss right it's connected to this two of cups why am i feeling the heaviness from this emotional loss right here could be a past energy because i may have felt like this person was my destiny interesting all right libra it's getting really good here let's move down to your focus on energy Tell us about focus on energies for Libra, please. Seven of Cups. Please clarify the Seven of Cups for Libra, please. Okay, interesting. So, wow. I'm looking at seven, seven, seven right here on these energies, Libra. You have, for starters, the seven of cups representing the energy of, I have a lot of choices in my life. So look, maybe I'm in this energy where you know, I'm going through this energy of feeling this emotional loss and it causes my heart to be closed. So when my heart is feeling closed, I'm not in the energy of feeling like that there's a lot of choices right here. Why? Because maybe my heart is wrapped around this one choice this one emotional loss right here so here's a lot of choices coming in comes right next to another seven which is the seven of pentacles representing the energy of the seeds that you planted already you planted these seeds you've harvested them and here you are sitting up against the side of the tree saying look i've manifested these seven seeds what are my next seven seeds going to look like which brings up the next seven it, like 777, seven, seven. that's like in the world of gambling, right? Casinos, sl slot machines, if you, if you will, right? 777, seven, seven. this is the jackpot, right? So here's your third seven coming in right here. Chariot card, so cancer, for those of you that may be connected to a cancer. Maybe this cancer is coming back. So you have movement and changes coming in right here, being pulled by the white horse and the black horse. They represent duality, the yin and yang, masculine, feminine energies. It's the balance of both of these energies that brings in, that pulls in some type of change. And you have a change that's connected to choices, new choices, new opportunities, as well as energies that you've already invested. All right, uh, Libra, let's move over to the past for you. Tell us about past energies for Libra. Okay, all right, so here's what's coming in connected to your past, Libra. You have the Page of Pentacles. I have a plan, right? I have a plan and here's the, I have the building blocks in place on what I wanna create, what I wanna manifest. So your plan coming in right there and then attached to the plan, you have the Death Card, representing Scorpio's energy. Could be representing the energy of an ending Right, so some of you in this past energy right here, it's like, I need to free myself, free myself from these energies. I put together a plan, I put together a plan on how to bring an ending to things. And bringing this ending is gonna bring you the Nine of Pentacles. So I'm bringing in the energy of bringing an ending to something in order for you to be able to feel your value, to feel your worth. So something was weighing you down. 
Um, let's move up to strengths. Tell us about strengths for Libra. Lover's card wanted to come out, so Gemini just showed up to the party. For those of you that may be connected to a Gemini, the world card attached to the lover's card. So these are two very beautiful energies showing up for you. So you have Gemini and the world card right next to each other. So these are energies coming in as your strength. So Libra, you have somebody in your life, right? This energy right here, soulmate kind of energy. They're coming in, they're showing up as your strength. But it's not them being in your life that's your strength. It's the two of you together that's showing up in your as your strength. And you have the ability to change your worlds. So this connection in your life showing up as your strength. And the two of you have the ability to be able to work, to create, to manifest together. And to be able to change your world. Wow. It's kind of beautiful, Libra. Let's move over to the future. Tell us about the future for Libra, please. Future energies for Libra. Okay. So, past energies. Past energies, there was an ending right here. You had a plan to put together this ending, and I feel like the ending brought you the kind of energy where you could feel your value and you could feel your worth. Because look, maybe the timing wasn't divine before when the two of you came together. Put you into your strength, right? Your strength is in this, when I'm in this connection, when I'm in this relationship, the two of us together, we really shine. We have our strength. Put you into the future energies, which is three of swords, sadness, grief, right? So this, this is representing the split up that took place after this death card, after this ending. So something had to, had to end in order for something new to come in. This could be new love coming in. It could be a new person. It could be the same person coming back again. Uh, but the Knight of Cups, representing the energy of your knight in shining armor, he's headed towards this Three of Swords. I feel like he's, he's headed towards the Three of Swords, right? To bring love and comfort to your heart, to help you overcome the sadness and the grief. All right, Libra, let's move down to suggested approach. Tell us about suggested approach for Libra. Wow. Maybe you're gonna do it a little bit differently this time, right? Assuming this is a person that's from the past that you split up with, it's maybe coming back to you. I say doing it different this time because you have the four of wands right here, representing the energy of marriage, right? For those of you that are Libra that are wanting marriage, here's your card, here's your energy coming in. And it's coming in attached to the Eight of Pentacles, right? So is this marriage just gonna, and it doesn't have to be marriage, it can be a commitment to each other. You know, I'm committing to you, you're committing to me, right? What's, does this commitment, is it just gonna fall into your lap? No, it's gonna take work. It's gonna take work on the part of two people. That's your suggested approach, Libra. What it is you need to know. Please tell us what it is Libra needs to know, please. Four of Cups. Please clarify the Four of Cups. Okay, so Libra, what it is you need to know. Four of Cups energy, feeling a little bit disconnected from a lot of excitement, a lot of adventure, a lot of beautiful experiences that I know are there for me, right? It's almost like, and maybe this is connected to love and relationships with some of you. It's like my sole focus right here is on this cup right here, but it's making me oblivious to the three of cups behind me. So maybe when I'm looking at this cup, I'm, it's like I'm too focused on just the love, the destined connection that's here that maybe at the end of the day, I'm forgetting that we're friends, right? Far and above everything else. So attached to that energy, you have the Empress. Now I feel my value. Now I feel my worth. And you may have had to bring an ending to something first in order to feel your value and to feel your worth. But now that I feel my value and I feel my worth, here's your energy showing up. Libra, justice coming in, bringing you fairness, bringing you balance. 
So Libra, I feel like, you know, for some of you that maybe stepped into a relationship in the past where things just didn't work out that well, look, maybe timing wasn't divine at the time, right? Maybe, maybe you were in the energy where I just, I couldn't feel my value and I couldn't feel my worth. And inevitably, if I'm feeling that way, is it going to carry over and impact my relationships? Yes, it does. You know, which could be why things needed to take a change here. I feel like things are changing and then coming right back again. All right, hopes and fears. Hopes and fears for Libra, please. Okay. All right, Libra. I'm kind of smiling. So here are the energies coming in on hopes and fears. You have the tower. <coughs> Excuse me, the tower energy. The tower energy coming in attached to the Ten of, of Wands. So will this journey that feels like it's a long journey that's never going to end, is this journey finally going to come to an ending here? Right. So the tower energy may have been the energy that showed up in order to help you bring this, what feels like a long journey to an ending. I mean, this tower energy could be connected to this death card, right? The ending. The waters are tumultuous right here. It's like lightning is coming in, striking the tower because you need to make space in your life, right? There needs to be a change that takes place. Let me pull one more clarifier. Please clarify the Ten of Wands and the Tower, please. Hermit energy. So this Tower energy may have put you into this Hermit card. So Virgo energy wanted to come and join the party. Uh, the Tower, whatever happened, put you in the energy where now I need to go, I need to think about things, right? I need to maybe think about this journey. Think about what are the things about this journey that cause it to feel like it's a long journey, right? Rather than a happy and a pleasant journey. And that could be why the lightning is striking the tower, right? To bring that information to you. Potential future. Tell us about the potential future for Libra, please. Wow. I'm not always about a love reading, Libra, but I don't turn them away when they show up. You definitely have a love reading here. You've got the Ten of Cups coming in as the potential future. That's bliss. Bliss for you, bliss for the other person, bliss for your family or families, people that live with you. Tell us more about the potential future for Libra, please. King of Pentacles wanted to come in, so Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. It may be an earth sign that's in the other energy in this Ten of Cups with you, Libra. Um, but the King of Pentacles is stability, security. Somebody who's a hard worker. Somebody who has a lot of life experience as well. Right? And maybe it's all this life experience that's coming in that causes this Ten of Cups energy, right? To feel that abundance. Attached to the King of Pentacles, you have the energy of the magician. So your ability to be able to create and to manifest. So look, Libra, when it comes to creating, when it comes to manifesting, I want to share a quote with you. It's a great quote. It's, it's from Gautama Buddha. It says, what you think you become, what you feel you attract, what you imagine you create. So Libra, here's the energy of the magician. What is it that you're imagining? Because whatever it is you're imagining, you're creating. So take some time, right? If you're looking for this Ten of Cups energy, right? It's like I want to experience this reconnection, this love coming together again. I want to experience the Ten of Cups. Then you have to imagine the Ten of Cups. Imagine what it's like for the two of you to come back together in union, right? Or maybe you're already in union, but we're like renewing. We're going to like re-up our commitment to one another in this Ten of Cups. Imagine it to the point to where you're able to see and feel in your mind and feel in your body exactly what this Ten of Cups feels like for you. Like how does it impact your day to day? Visualize yourself going through it, right? Because when you're doing that, you're visualizing these energies and, you're, and so you're experiencing strong feelings and emotions. That's what creates for you. Those feelings and those emotions from within is what comes outside of you. So it all starts within you, Libra. Okay, I'm done with this portion of your tarot reading. I am going to do an extended tarot reading for you, and I'll make this available over on Vimeo. 
it bears a lot of questions. So I want to go deeper and I want to know a little bit more about what's going on here. Uh, here's everything I'm, that I'm going to cover in the extended. I want to go through and I want to clarify Sagittarius energy, divine timing. I also want to clarify this Six of Cups energy, somebody from your past coming back, connected to divine timing. And then Libra, I want to clarify the Two of Cups. I just want to see if we can get an idea of who this other person is, who this other energy is. Two of Cups attached to the Knight of Pentacles. And then I want to clarify the Death card coming into Scorpio's energy, the ending, as well as Cancer's energy, the beginning coming in again, seven coming back around. Let's clarify this. And then let's clarify Gemini's energy coming in as the Lover's card, as well as the Four of Wands, marriage, commitment, and then Libra's energy, the Justice card. And I want to clarify this tower energy. I want to gain a better understanding of what was this tower all about for you, as well as Virgo's energy coming in as the Hermit card. Um, and then, Libra, I want to pull an energy from my tarot set called the Good Tarot, and I want to build upon this next chapter in your life for you, and let's see what the energies look like moving forward. So that's everything I'm going to cover in the extended tarot reading. So for those of you that are here and resonating with these energies, boy, I hope you follow me over to Vimeo for the extended tarot reading. For the rest of you, this is where we part ways and say goodbye. Thank you so much for being here. I know you have a lot of different choices with tarot readers, so I appreciate the fact that you came here and took the time to hear me out and to see what kind of energies came up here for you, Libra. You have a beautiful tarot reading here, so it's a beautiful time to be a Libra in life. Okay, Libra, the month of July looks exciting for you. Wishing you all the very best. Have a beautiful day.